I realized Urban's low-key kind of ripping off the thrifting community. Not to say like thrifters are inventing anything, but thrifters oftentimes are finding vintage items and literally all of Urban's like recent drops are vintage inspired. So I'm just here to prove no need to go to Urban. Stop with that fast fashion business. We can just find them at the thrift store. And I was blown away to see what I found from my vision board. I straight up did find at the thrift store. It's like kind of crazy. Let's see from this vision board what we can actually find at the thrift store. like an elf <laughs> i don't have a lot of energy for 9 a.m this is like a lot for us here in new jersey where we were last time but we're thrifting for a whole new realm of stuff i have certain things i'm thrifting for are you thrifting for anything of course i'm sure i'll find shit that i like i'm gonna show you some dupes dupes we're gonna go urban dupe brandy dupe <laughs> dupe it up but it's frigid here we go wait low-key these were like on my board just gonna Oh my god, these are kind of cute too. They're kind of big. <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, what? No way. Oh my god, Prada. I already lost Kendall. Hey, first find of the day, Prada shoes. What's good with that? Also, look at this cute little like Ralph Lauren clip bag. I kind of have a bag like this, but I still want it. Girl, I found Prada heels. What you got, what you got. You already have, you literally have that. And the sleeves don't, whatever. I kind of have a bag like this, but it's still warm. I want to see if you want this. Oh, I do. I don't know how I feel about this, but I don't That's like a lot of fabric, but I do like it. I can't believe fucking down the top. I know. Oh, that one's nice. Victoria's Secret. Yeah, I don't like the flare bottom, but specific store I usually go shoes then I go lingerie and then vest so we're on our way to the vest section which Kendall is already in I'm also styling a shoot tomorrow where like I need a fur vest so this will be great that is sick wait I literally found the long sleeve version of this Speaking of Urban Outfitters, this is literally the Urban Outfitters brand. I do find actually a lot of Urban brand at the thrift store, but this video is more for like finding the dupes. Oh my god, is this a, this is a shrug perf. I love DKNY. This literally looks like that kind of rappy one on Urban Outfitters homepage. I love, love, love thrifting vintage Abercrombie and Fitch. Actually, not very super into this one, but like, look at this tag. But this reminds me so much of that white top on Urban and the like ballet core section, so we'll see how she does. Are you kidding? Kendall! I know, I love that stop. I want it. Guess what it is. What is it? Polo? It's not polo! New attack. Is this for you? Because <laughs> I, I will battle you. I will arm wrestle. I will do anything. I'm thinking about it. I literally... I'm... <laughs> <laughs> in red, you know I love red. That's a little red too. Do you? I, that is so fucking good, I can't. Take it. That one's also so good. Ugh. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? I, oh my god. Finally's basement. My mom used to bring me there. Can't tell, but I think I saw something on Urban that looked like this as well, but we'll have to fact check that. Not my personal cup of tea, but it's for the vid, okay? Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, those are, that's cool. We're finding the urban dupes today, and I feel like I saw this on there. They got like a whole ballet core section, and I feel like that's like low key the vibe. I put this on my thrift vision board thinking I was not going to find anything like it, but I found probably something even better. Ruched, tube top, and 
pants underneath. This is the most 2000s thing ever. One of my favorite colors to wear is red. So we're in the red section. You will not believe what I just fucking found. <laughs> I need to show you this. Dressed pants. 2000s. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, nice. Right, I like. yeah. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna have a better reaction. <laughs> yeah. So beautiful. Okay, and then lastly, I wasn't really sure, but like, do you like in that like dream? I can see that. Yeah. yeah. Literally love when this happens. This is literally a perfect black shrug. Like, tell me this is not legit on Urban right now. What is this? By anthropology. You know what? Okay. We're sorting. This is halfway through. We're, we're not near done. Is all the stuff I thrifted for like ballet for Urban Outfitters homepage. Go through this in a minute. I'm so scared. <laughs> we got these little guys in here. I think they're very cute. It's giving Blair Waldorf actually. These are like downturns. Kendall's a hater for these, but I think these are like the like kind of what's it like the cyber pop? I know. I, I you're just not into that. I wouldn't wear that. Very two thousands. They're ugly. Oh, are they? Oh, summer. okay. Little ballet core with like the texture, the little tassel. Oh, okay. Mm, it's more giving substitute teacher this potential bad coffee brand. I like it. You like this? Yeah. We got a couple other shirts to try on. Oh my god, this is like a classic shrug. <laughs> I'm so thousand. Do you think we should bring her home? No. <laughs> She's honest. <laughs> I actually don't think I'm going to try this on, but you get the That's gist. That's cool, I like that, yeah. This one I showed you too, literally they have the same thing in white on the Urban homepage with this like same like gauzy material, which is kind of crazy. I think the ballet core has like baby doll underlying theme. Same with like this like crop look, which I like but I don't have a personal need for, so probably gonna leave it. Is this cool or? The sleeves are like, it's supposed to be kind of like a, like it's supposed to be, like you're supposed to like layer it. It's, it's cool. I found this top, but this exact top, literally. It's not the brand Urban, but pretty much almost the exact thing on Urban. Honestly, I feel like these are the perfect crossover of like a Brandy Melville and Urban dupe. Like, okay, I need to stop saying dupe. But like, they got the little ruching with the seams. Love that straight leg. Oh, so good. I'm like actually keeping these. This is exactly why you check the kids section. Flare sequin sparkle pants. They're women's, they're size zero. Look how sick that is. This is a little bit of a side quest, but a lot of the vests in the boys section remind me of Brandy Melville. So take a look. Ah, oh my God, they're perfect. Oh my god, so snowboarding. We need to catch the slopes. All I wanted was you. That was pretty good. That was. <laughs> we made it to the next spot, not too far away. Never been here. Looks massive and a little bit overwhelming. <gasps> oh my god. This place was freaking massive, which I thought was going to be a good thing but whole downstairs, whole top floor, like full on warehouse. Um, so many people there too, which is part of the reason why it was overwhelming, but also overwhelming because there was just like too many things to look at. There's just no way you could look at everything in there. Their prices were also a little bit ridiculous. Like there was not one piece of leather or fur that was like under $150, but regular clothes were fine, worth like poking around. Going through our cart, y'all always ask me where I get my black mini skirts from, and it's from the swim section. This one, I was looking for a low rise one, so this one's pretty perfect. Lands in. I like don't know. treasure chest. I thought like maybe like for my sewing stuff. Same with this mirror, like don't need, but like sorry, Carrie. Found another pant skirt combo. <laughs> Brandy core. Okay, this is pretty cool. Honestly, I would have sent. I this. like. This. I would have sent this to Greg. It's actually kind of cool. This guy, course said it already. Suede jacket, only thing reasonable price here, $10. Everything else, leather and suede, is like at least 100 These are sick too. Dad short, 2023. Moschino, Moschino, and then it's 
This one's not bad, $25, but like not for a tank top. For a vest, but this is gonna be for a photo shoot tomorrow. This is a no. I found this belt and that's it. Honestly, this store was kind of a bust. Okay, so I have my haul of stuff that I did bring home from our thrift trip that I feel like resembled a lot of the stuff that I saw in Urban Outfitters. Honestly, better in my opinion. There's some that are like, could be urban, could be brandy. It's what you're seeing these fast fashion companies produce, which you don't even need to buy because you can get them at the thrift store. I feel like I've already mentioned these. I did in fact find these little Prada pointed toe shoes. I had those pointed toe Jeffrey Campbell shoes on my little collage. The heels are not nearly as high as the other ones, but I feel like these are a little more versatile because the heels are so cute and tiny. They're a half size too small for me, but I could make them work. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep them or sell them. Pretty much the same exact vibe of what we found on Urban, but literally better because it's Prada. These are literally my favorite, I'm keeping them. The brand is Massimo Supply Co, which I think is like old Target. These are a low rise cargo pants, camo, and like I love the little butt cheeks. These are gonna be my new favorite for like everything. I honestly think these are better. They have like a stretchable waistband and I'm into like low rise recently. This is what I found on Urban. Pretty much identical, but I still would choose this pair. This wasn't necessarily something I found on Urban. This kind of reminded me of like one of those little like wrap ballet skirts ballerinas often wear over their leotard. I found like, I found like the reverse on Urban's website, but I feel like Urban's had these type of shirts for years, which I always find at the thrift store. I think Brandy Melville also sells like a decent amount of these. I honestly like this one better. Like, do you see that price on that one? I would never sell it for this much. I was mentioning this earlier. The urban one has like a cutout and like two little buttons here, but I think I'm gonna do a thrift flip with this over on my, sorry, my camera died. I might do a thrift flip with this one over on my TikTok to make the exact urban shirt, just because I kind of like that vibe better for my personal closet. I cannot even believe I looked at this on Urban's website and I was like, wow, that's really cool. I'm gonna see if I can find a dress to do something like that with, but no, I found better a tube top dress over like these little pants. Like it's a dress pant combo. It is amazing. But this is even, I can't even, and like I'm blown away. This was the find of the day. I found this, which I didn't find an exact one for one dupe on their website, but I thought this one was like low key better. Black and white contrast like piping here kind of gives it like a reminiscent 60s look, but then the shape of this kind of gives me like the top of a leotard, which is why I feel like it's Alexa off. I feel like it's ballet core esque. I was like on the fence about it because it is, it's a brand from Anthropology called Maeve. I just traditionally don't like buying any fast fashion stuff. Like I just prefer the vintage. But this one was really cute. What's throwing me off are these like little back strings, but I could cut those off if I needed, but I think they're just kind of to hold the shape of the shirt. This is like the most classic brandy kind of styling. I'm not sure if Urban has something that similar to this. This is like straight out of the Brandy handbook, like half zip, colors red, white, and blue. It's kind of like a classic. It's a little dirty, so I might crop it or something. I do love like a little quarter quarter zip, and I do love Polo Ralph Lauren, if you don't know. Speaking of Ralph, I thrifted this bag too. This next one, I didn't find an exact one for one like copy on Urban's website, but I feel like this format is very similar to the stuff that we've been seeing. It's kind of like very soft girl, like winter cozy. Lastly, honestly, Urban could never with this one. But I've seen kind of uh, strayaways of Urban trying to combine like the corset and like a button up. Brand of this is Guess. And the corset is like made into the button up and like layered over. Giving Lorelai Gilmore, this is not going anywhere. This is staying in my closet for sure. Overall, better than I could have imagined. I've never like actually gone to the thrift store and tried to one for one like find a substitute for something that I've seen trending online. This was like really cool to see. I'm happy to do like other parts of this as well. So if you want to see me thrift other stores, trending home pages, let me know. The rest of my content is on Instagram and TikTok. You can find all my thrifted outfits there. I have a podcast if you want to bond with me there. It's Unsimplified with Sienna. All my links will be down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.